There is the chance, the chance, mind you, that meat contaminated with salmonella was sold in the tri-state. 77 cases of salmonella in 26 states have been reported, including one in Warren County. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is on your side tonight with new information on what you need to know to keep your family safe. Sayed? Clyde Carroll, the U.S. Health Department is blaming ground turkey for the recent outbreak, and Ohio has already had 10 cases reported. That's tied with Michigan for the most in the country. Tonight, local health officials are warning the public to be extremely careful when buying, preparing, and storing turkey. U.S. turkey meat is making its way from the farm to the freezer and now to area emergency rooms. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has detected 77 cases of salmonella in over half the states across the country. And local health officials say those numbers are just the tip of the iceberg. In any kind of foodborne investigation, it is very likely that somewhere the true number of cases is somewhere between 10 and 100 times what's actually reported. You heard right. The true number of cases could be a hundred times the 77 that have been reported. Dr. Steve Englander of the Cincinnati Health Department says the reason why the disease is so underreported is because the majority of people who contract the illness suffer mild symptoms like stomach aches and diarrhea, which typically pass after a day or two. But don't be fooled, the disease can be deadly, with one death already reported in this latest outbreak. Dr. Englander says salmonella can be very dangerous for young children, the elderly, and anyone with weak immune systems. The more alarming problem is health officials have not yet determined which manufacturer is distributing the meat, so no recalls have been made. Until then, they are encouraging the public to be extra careful when handling turkey. You don't want to leave the food out on the table um, or go to the picnic without a cooler. You, you either eat it or refrigerate it pretty quickly. Consumers are also encouraged to cook ground turkey to an internal temperature of 165 degrees before eating. Now, if you're wondering how long until the infected meat is pulled from the shelves, Dr. Englander says finding a source takes time. Doctors will be asking diagnosed patients where they got their meat from and what brand of meat they bought. Doctors will then compare responses and ultimately try and pinpoint the manufacturer. Clyde? So the waiting continues. Say it should be a reporting for us from the newsroom this evening.